Hi, welcome to Chess Talk. I'm Sean Miller, your host, which can be found on Chess Scene in New York, the Sean Miller Chess Channel on YouTube. Today, my special guest is Elena Katz. She's a national master, or I believe she might even be an IM by now. So, Elena Katz, welcome to Chess Thank Talk. You. How are you? Thank you. Good, how are you? So, disclaimer, full disclaimer, I'm a big fan of yours. Every time I come to a, uh, a tournament here in the New York City area, um, I find where Elena Katz is. <laughs> so um, I, and I sit back and I wonder, I, I remember one game in particular, I watched you play an end game for this young man and it was a clinic. And I asked you to send me the PGN and you never did. So I never got a chance, and no, I never got a chance to, uh, to, to go over the game. But anyway, tell us, um, tell us, what are you up to now? Well, I am about to start my second year in college. Um, I missed chess very much during my first year, so I played the summer. Um, I did become an IM, and I got my first Grandmaster Norm at uh, the North American Junior Championship in Canada that I just got back from like a week or two ago. Um, yeah, I just want to focus on chess now with all the free time that I can because I missed it so much. haven't played for about a year before that. Okay. so. Take me back to when your, your dad your dad taught you how to play chess. He didn't teach me, but I was taught uh, where I was born in Belarus, and then when we when I moved to the United States, my dad took over and started coaching me. Okay, did is he the, is, is, did you have any other formal training, or is your dad the only one that really kind of like brought you through the ropes of chess? It's just my dad. Wow. Yeah. How did it feel when you were, when you were first able to beat your dad? Was you like whoa? Uh, it felt good. It felt really good. <laughs> I felt some power over him. <laughs> <laughs> he can tell you what to do, but then you can say, okay, Deb, I yeah, can still be in chess for Yeah, but I can still be in chess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, so tell us, just give me a little bit of history about your background, as far as your chess background. Um, what did you, did, did, when you like, did you like it? Did, when you started teaching you, did you say, oh, Dad, I don't really want to play this game, I want to do girl stuff? Uh, well, um, I started well, playing when I was four. Uh, me and my mom lived in Belarus, my dad was in the United States, so he was kind of telling her, you know, because he had a chess, has a chess school to this day uh, in Brooklyn on Bryan Beach. So he was telling her, you know, bring her to this coach and start teaching her. And at first I didn't understand it, I didn't like it. I was like, why are you forcing me to do this? But being four years old, I, you know, I didn't have uh, much control over what was going on. And then once I moved here, when I was nine, uh, my dad started coaching me, and he's an incredible coach. He made me love the game, and uh, you know, just traveling all over the world to the world youths and this and that. It was so much fun. It opened up a new whole, whole new world for me. So um, my dad made me fall in love with chess. One thing that you that you in the in the chess world in particular, um, as far as um, New York City goes. You don't really see a lot of women on the chess scene. Right. Um, talk to us about that. It's, it's a male-dominated sport, but when you run across women, it, it, it fascinates me to, like, wow, there are women out there that actually play and love this game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I barely see women playing in chess tournaments, but uh, once I went to the U.S. Chess Champs, just seeing these very strong women play fascinated me and just watching their games in preparation and seeing that there are very strong women out there made me more excited, gave me more motivation to become an even better chess player. You played at the at St. Louis, um, what was that, two years ago now? Or? Two years ago, that yeah. was the, That's the women's championship. Yeah. Um, tell us about that experience. What did you learn? I, um, Irina Crush was right. in that field. Uh, a lot of uh, strong powerhouse women in the United States. What did you learn from that experience? I mean, that was definitely, I, I went twice. Uh, that, those were definitely the best tournaments I've ever participated in. Just the organization and people and the experience was just incredible. And uh, I don't know, I, I learned that I have to work a lot harder to, you know, become anywhere close to them because these women spend a lot of time preparing and training and, you know, devoting their lives to chess. And as much as, you know, I have school and stuff, I still want to, I learned that, you know, I need to, I need to have a balance between chess and life. <laughs> yeah. 
Outside uh, of chess. <laughs> my, uh, I'm just starting to get to know her now, Alyssa, and I won't pronounce her last name, um, but she, forgive me, forgive me, Alyssa. All right. Um, <laughs> But she's a very sweet young lady. Is, do you see her more like your contemporary? Since you guys are kind of like, I would say, evenly ranked, rated, or do you look higher than someone to, to look up to, to, to aspire to, to, to kind of like go back and forth with? I mean, she's definitely an inspiration because I know she's doing so much in her life in like law school and this and that and still doing really well in chess. And, I, I, she's I, 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 yeah, she's amazing. I yeah. still to this, I mean, to this day, I can't do that. And to balance it all, and you know, still be good at both things, or three things, or four things that she's doing, that's definitely very inspiring and uh, motivating. Where do you want to go with chess? How far do you see Elena Katz going? Where do, where do you want to take chess to? Um, well, I want to become grandmaster at some point. Uh, but uh, I have to train a lot more than I do now. Um, I don't. I mean, I coach now, so I want to continue coaching, giving private lessons. I really enjoy that. I also work at my dad's chess school with little kids. Uh, but I like playing so much more. So whether I become grandmaster or not, I want to definitely play chess for the rest of my life. How does it feel when you actually playing playing up against uh, men? Uh, What's the reaction, or have they gotten used to you now? I like or? playing against men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot more than women. It's a, it's much less nerve wracking. Right. I feel like um, uh, I have an advantage because they might what's underestimate your, what's your, okay, okay. me. Okay. Uh, okay. Because I'm a girl. Okay. Um, unless they see my rating, then they'll yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I like. So all you guys out there, make sure you look at her rating <laughs> first before you, you play her. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So as far as women that are on the uh, the more global scale, I'm I'm a big fan of, of FIDE style chess tournaments, right? Which obviously are in in Europe. In Europe, um, is there anyone that you particularly follow in the uh, in the European chess circuit? Well, to be completely honest, uh, I've been out of since I've been out of chess, I kind of stopped following. Okay. But um, uh, Hugh Yufan is obviously. Uh, <laughs> I can't find the, the yeah. words, you know, yeah. and I mean, I, I, there's a lot of women that I probably should be following, but I just feel like these players that don't live in the United States, that are from either China or India or whatever, they just have um, better circumstances because I, I, they don't go to school, you know, they get paid to do chess, chess is their life, which obviously if you spend you know, 12 hours a day practicing chess, you might be a better player than me. But still, I mean, I think it's amazing and they're talented and I should probably start following them more than I do now. With uh, Judith Poga just announced she was uh, retiring from um, active chess um, and she actually was the strongest woman chess player in history. you have any thoughts on on her exiting chess as a, as, as, as a okay, competitive player? Could I get a pushback? I mean, it's a little sad because I feel like she devoted her whole life to this and she went so far, not just as a player, as an organizer and, you know, seeing so many places in the world and stuff. But I feel like at that age, it's, you know, she has her own family. There's other, there's other priorities so I mean it was obviously her choice but it's a little sad yeah and definitely she's definitely gonna be a loss um, I think you know I think she'll come back because I said, ju yeah. just because I know from myself and I, I love chess a lot but I never thought I would miss it as much as I did not playing for a year and just coaching and I mean she's obviously has years of experience on me but I think she'll come back um, in closing, no, how, do you know it's okay? how does it feel? You're one of the best chess players in the country. He's let's just let's get that out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> how does it feel that um, you're walking around your campus, your college campus, and maybe students, the fellow student body, don't even know who you are? They don't. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't. they can Google um, you and be like, oh wow, yeah. you're kind of like a pseudo celebrity. I will. mean, uh, I'm already used to it, obviously. But uh, when I do like meet new people and they find out that I play chess, 
I would have to tell them to Google me for them right. to believe me wow. that, you know, I actually, me. <laughs> I actually do play chess. Right, like, yeah, right. Google me. Yeah, yeah. Me. A lot of people can't get Google. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And then they uh, Google you and they thought, wow. Yeah, you know, and they exactly. And see all this stuff on you. Um, so tell us, what's in the future for you? I mean, you're going to school. What do you want to be? Um, well, I'm studying speech pathology in school. Um, I work with kids now, so I want to do that in the future, just with speech. Um, chess is my backup plan. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I have three more years of Brooklyn College. Uh, they have an amazing program for it. I'm in graduate school. And uh, I'm hoping to just all the free time that I have devoted to chess and traveling, hopefully. Like, uh, by winning this tournament in Canada, I got invited to next year's Pan American. Um, I think it's going to be in Venezuela. So hopefully I can go there. Okay. Well, Elena Katz, it's been a pleasure. I've always been a fan of yours. I'll Thank continue you. to follow you. I know that I typically only catch up to you at the uh, at the New Yorker Hotel. You do, and you catch up to me when I'm losing. Yeah, I know, I know. But sometimes, <laughs> once in a while, you, you'll win. You, you won with the other young man, the master, right. that you never sent me the game for. We'll have to talk about that off camera. <laughs> but anyway, Elena Katz, it's, it's, you have a fan here always. I'm, I'm a fan of yours, and I wish you all the best in your chess career. Thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by Chess Talk. Thanks for checking us out on Chess Talk. You can catch us at uh, Chess Scene in New York, at the uh, Sean Miller Chess Channel on YouTube. I'd like to thank Brian Park here at the Chess and Games area. And if you're ever in the area, stop by for a quick game of chess. This is Sean Miller, and I'll see you next time.